What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today is another in a long line of videos where I try and fix my deadlift. But today we are using the Juggernaut AI training app. I've been using this app for a while now. There's another video on the channel. If you want a little bit more of an introduction to the program, the app itself, you can go ahead and click here, watch through that video and then come on back because we are testing our four rep max on the deadlift today. I'm currently in a strength phase on the Juggernaut AI app. Uh, week two, the last day of week two is a deadlift test, my competition deadlift. So I'm a sumo puller. So it would be a sumo pull deadlift. I took some footage. I recorded a little bit of my screen. We're gonna go over everything. Just off the bat, we did not hit a four rep PR. We hit a double for a new PR. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit about choosing your attempt weight because I think that I overshot a little bit this week and gained some interesting insight and data into my own psychology when choosing PR attempts. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Before we get into the meat of today's video, we are incredibly close to 100 subscribers. We may have already hit it by then, but if we have not, please subscribe. We would love to have you as part of the community. We're putting out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'd love for you to join. You know, you can join our Discord. You can follow me on Instagram. Just become part of this strength community. We're trying to be the strongest community on YouTube, and I'd love to have you as a part of that. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So as always, when we begin a training session with the Juggernaut, AI training app, we start with our readiness check-in. So I woke up this morning uh, with a little bit of pain in my shoulder. I had, was doing some pause bench press the day before. Um, so feeling decent, not my best. Uh, sleep has been iffy. So one thing that I really love about this app and I preach about it all the time is a check-in. So either using the Juggernaut AI app or checking in with yourself, how do you feel that day, especially if you're using RPE? So my, my calories are still low, I'm still cutting, and then I marked down that my shoulders were feeling a little fatigued. Other than that, I felt pretty good. So we went in and we have a comp deadlift today. As you can see here, we've got RPE 10 for four reps. I love the way that they do rep PRs. Just RPE 10, just go hard for that rep PR in a strength or hypertrophy phase with one of your main lifts. That's one of the great things that I really like about the Juggernaut AI app is you're not going for a single. I assume that when I get to my peaking phase, that's when I'll be going more for the doubles and the singles. But as of right now, we're going for rep PRs, which will then uh, calculate out to what our estimated one rep max is going to be. So I have switched recently to a sumo pull. I'd say within the last 12 weeks, I switched to a sumo pull. So I'm not 100% there yet on the form, but I work out at a great gym, Muscle City here in Atlanta, in Norcross specifically, with some really strong, really knowledgeable people. So shout out to them if you guys are watching. They have been instrumental in helping me correct my sumo deadlift form, higher hips, better tension off the floor. I feel a lot better with it, but I took a couple extra warm up sets today to kind of really feel out where I was. So this is my first warm up set with, what is this? Uh, 170 kilos. I don't really know the math. I'll throw it up here. Something around 300. But I wanted to see how my form was feeling that day. And I felt so good on this warm up, like pulling completely off the floor. My hips were high. My tension was good. So I felt solid, but I wanted to do one more warm up, so I threw a couple 15 kilo plates on there. So I went for a double here, really focusing on engaging my lats. My upper back tightness has been a little bit of a weakness for me in the deadlift. So higher hips, upper back tightness are the two things that I'm kind of trying to work on. I felt really great on this one. So I decided, you know, instead of going up just another five kilograms, I went up to throw in a 20 and a 2.5 kilogram on, on the bar. Now, this is where I wanna talk about your attempt selection. Because we're working on RPE and the Juggernaut AI app is an RPE training based app, RPE 10 fluctuates, especially for me. On, a, on one day it could be this, on another day it could be that. In my head, I thought, let's go hard as we can today. The warm ups were feeling good. You know, the shoulder wasn't hurting it at all. I was like, let's push it. So we, we threw, a little bit more weight than I think we should have put on the bar. I'm an overshooter. I'm an overshoot guy. I like to really test myself. It's been a struggle for me to kind of pull back using the Juggernaut AI app to kind of listen to the RPE ranges because I really like to push. And my fatigue has been feeling really good on this block. So I threw up uh, 215 kilos on the bar. 
which is, would be, would blow my previous, you know, my previous one rep on the deadlift was 445. This was 475 in pounds and we were going for four. So this would have blown everything out of the water. And I felt confident about it going in. Rep one moved a little, a little slow at the lockout for me. So I was already feeling a little weird. And then rep two kind of had a hitch. I could have gotten rep three. Looking back at the footage here, I definitely could have. I think I bailed out a little quick, but again, I, I was, Mentally, I was kind of in my own head about, oh, I should have gone to 465 instead of 475, which I need to get better about just allowing myself to stay present in the lift rather than thinking about, damn, you messed up, you should have done this while I'm doing the lift. That's for after the lift, and I definitely need to get better at that. But we still got a double, still beat a previous PR, so that was solid. Again, I took some time after this to kind of think through some of the negativity that was going on. Whenever you miss a PR, or a certain amount of reps, obviously the negativity sets in. But for me, still hitting a double on a new weight, a new PR, so technically we still PR'd, but also getting some invaluable data because I kind of realized, okay, my upper back is not where it needs to be to be able to pull this type of weight. I'm very, very loose in the upper back. I, I don't think that I have the strength necessary. I feel like my legs, specifically my glutes, are very, very developed for where I am, but it's my upper back and the lack of ability to hold tension that makes the bar kind of move out in front of me and I lose leverage and that's how I'm failing the lift. Using that to kind of change my mindset and say, okay, well, we failed to get four reps, but now we have a better plan going forward. I'll be able to implement some better accessories in my next phase of training in the Juggernaut AI app to kind of approach upper back training a little bit better and to realize that maybe on my next PR attempt to bring the attempt weight down just a little bit. So another great thing about the Juggernaut AI app, when you're going for these, these 10 rep uh, PRs, if you put in that you've missed your reps, they cut off your, your back offsets for the day. Now, I felt really good, so I did a couple sets of pause deadlifts at a lower weight anyway. Again, you can manipulate the training to however you wanna be as long as your fatigue is manageable. Be intelligent about it, but you have space, obviously. You know, it's not set in stone. So I added in a couple paused sets of deadlifts just to work on my upper back tightness a little bit. And then we moved on to the rest of the, of the workout because just because we failed a PR does not mean we walk out of the gym with our head hanging low, we keep working. Folks, for the rest of the day, we had some reverse hack squat. I'm really loving this machine uh, as of late. I really enjoy how I can activate my glutes on it as well. Uh, I can overload a little bit more. I'm doing this beltless with no knee sleeves to just really focus on technique, keep the weight a little bit lower so that I'm not over taxing myself. The rep range is low. I think I'm doing fives here. That was my top set, only two sets today. So I felt like reverse hack squats were around an RPE seven and a half to eight. I put, think I put a seven and a half on my first set and an eight on my second set. Looking back at the footage, I definitely think that I overshot that, but I think I was still in my head about the deadlift, so I was going a little over board on my RPEs. We moved on from there to another incredible exercise for the posterior chain, and it is the good morning. It's one of my favorites. I love doing the good morning with a safety squat bar. One, if you're doing it with just a regular barbell, I find that it can roll on you and it can be a little awkward to kind of get into position. With the safety squat bar, you've got the handles, you've got the ability to kind of manipulate where the weight is a little bit more, and it puts the weight more out in front of you. So having to maintain that upper back tightness really comes into play. So not only am I getting great hamstring, glute, and low back work with the mechanics of the movement, but secondarily, I have to hold a rigid upper back to control the weight. And I think that that is also going to help, as we said, with getting my upper back a little bit tighter and a little bit stronger. Prescribed at uh, RIR of two, reps in reserve of two, meaning an RPE eight. So we went for sets of eight here. Probably could have pushed to nine, um, but I always think that, you know, I'm always going a little bit above and beyond what the RIR is. Sometimes to my detriment, but I really felt like because I had missed the PRs on deadlift, I was gonna push myself on the rest of the on the rest of the day of training. That's just how I am. Does it help? Yes, but can it can also hurt if I'm not appropriately mitigating fatigue as well. So those are the two factors that I'm really working on. Again, I'm recording this the day after, I feel really good. So I think that even though I pushed a little bit harder on my accessories, I still was able to recover, slept well last night, etc. All the great stuff that we talk about on this channel. 
We finished off with some dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, some of my favorite moves. Again, this is a big posterior chain day because I wanna build my deadlift, I wanna build my squat, so I'm really focused on the posterior chain. Another great benefit of dumbbell Romanian deadlifts is having to hold a rigid upper back. Upper back positioning, as I said, is a weakness for me, and so I'm really hammering it. I'm trying to keep my lats engaged as I go for these reps. I'm using the same type of bracing that I would use on a competition deadlift attempt. I'm really trying to stay ribs down, to stay engaged in the core, to blow through the whole midsection with my air. These are the things that I'm trying to bring over to my accessory work so that it will pay dividends on my actual competition lifts, and I think Moving out of this strength phase and into my next strength phase with the Juggernaut AI app, I'm going to really emphasize that type of work. So the exercise selection has been good for me. I think I'm picking the right exercises, but I have to become more mentally engaged in the exercises and understand that there are ways that I can manipulate and use these exercises that are going to provide a better result for me in my competition lifts. And I think the main two are bracing properly and just upper back tension and tightness. Uh, in all of these, so in the good mornings, in the dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, in my barbell Romanian deadlifts, just utilizing more of a, an intentional bracing and upper back tightness that's going to then shift over to my competition lift. So that was my last day of week two of my last strength phase on the Juggernaut AI app. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I cannot say enough good things about this app. I'm not sponsored in any way, but I do love this product and I'm gonna continue to use it because regardless of hitting a rep PR or not, I am still getting insanely strong using this programming while in a calorie deficit, which is something that you know I think is holding me back a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's just another excuse. You know, I'm training hard, and I am getting to my goals, both strength goals and physique and weight loss goals. So regardless of the calorie deficit or not, I think this program is really helping me maintain strength and get stronger while I'm not in the most advantageous position nutritionally. And I cannot wait to see when I get down to weight and move to more of a maintenance phase, how much stronger I can get using this programming. I love it. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Folks, that's gonna be it for us today. We didn't hit exactly what we wanted on the deadlift, but you know what? We still moved some heavy weight and we did some great stuff on the accessories. And most importantly, we got some data and we got a direction for how to get better on our lift. So I wanna encourage you, if you're missing PRs or you've hit kind of a little bit of a plateau, don't see it as a failure. Obviously you're missing what you wanna hit, but try and educate yourself based on where you're missing. Film your lifts, assess your lifts, understand where your sticking points are, and then create a plan to attack those sticking points. Failure is just an opportunity to get better, and I am telling myself that as much as I'm telling you that, because that dark voice in your head, it's gonna say that you're not getting stronger, but you know what, you are getting stronger as long as you're not quitting and you're still working towards your goal. So I would encourage you to do that. That's what I'm gonna be doing, and I hope you're doing it as well. I hope you have a great rest of your week, guys. A solid Monday. I hope that your training's good, your nutrition's good. If you have any questions about programming or the Juggernaut AI app, I would love to hear them down in the comments. You can join our Discord. You can follow me on Instagram. Become a part of what I hope is gonna be the strongest community on YouTube. We'd love to have you. Like I always say, get strong and stay strong, folks. Keep working hard. I will see you on Wednesday for a little bit of a lighter video. Take it easy. I'll see you then. Peace.